Sounds like a plan. Mayor Eric Adams eliminating via executive action Friday the rule which requires homeless shelter residents to wait 90 days before seeking a FEPS or city funded rental assistance voucher. We'll be able to move more New Yorkers from shelter to permanent housing more quickly while freeing up much needed capacity in the DHS shelter system. During a Q&A session, the mayor made it clear he would have preferred to join the city council's efforts to abolish the same 90-day rule, which it passed last month as part of a larger bill package. But, but when you look at the entire package that they presented, uh, some of so the items in that package are, are problematic. The city council bill package also includes allowing people to apply for city rental assistance before they're evicted and in a shelter and easing work and income requirements to obtain a housing voucher. The council released a statement Friday, which reads in part, quote, the only reliable path forward to truly confront the city's eviction and homelessness crisis is for the mayor to sign the entire package of legislation. The mayor and council clearly agree on eliminating the 90 day rule, especially as the already crowded shelter system continues to accept tens of thousands of incoming asylum seekers. But the move essentially creates a bottleneck further down the housing chain, with thousands of new applicants joining the some 20,000 people who already have vouchers and cannot find apartments. Both sides are calling for the creation of more permanent housing to ease the burden. So Correct. it's two adults and two children in one room. Yes. But for Ivory Johnson, it's not that easy. She says she and her young son, Kenneth, have been living with another family in an East Harlem family shelter room for the last six months. Ivory says because of the realities of the New York City housing market, she did not even bother going for a city FEPS voucher. City FEP, what it is that it's so hard to look for an apartment and certain places don't accept section um, um, city FEP. DSS Commissioner Molly Park disclosing at the very last question of today's news conference that this new rule, which will eliminate the 90-day stay for shelters, is going to cost the city approximately $123 million per year.